Yo what's up guys it's Aptrex here a brand new windows emulator for android has just been launched and it is completely open source it's known as winlator in today's video we'll be setting it up and let me start off by minimum requirements you need minimum android 10 or above if you want to try out this app this emulator is based on wine it's capable of running x86 and x64 both platforms and i have heard that it can also play games like gta 5 maybe if you guys want me to try it out for myself then let's hit 250 likes on today's video with that being said, let's get started. Now as I mentioned before, Winlater is a completely open source project. It's available on GitHub and here in the bottom section you can read Winlater is an Android application that lets you run Windows x86 or 64 applications with the help of Wine and Box86 slash Box64. So it's similar to Box64 Droid but you don't need to use the mouse makes the emulation a little easier. So let's just go ahead and try it out. I'll open Winlater for the first time and you will have to wait for around 2 minutes for its initialization. After it's initialized, all you have to do is just go ahead and tap on this plus button, we'll need to create a new container. You can name it anything, uh, in my case I'll name it container1, screen size make sure to select 800 by 600 Graphics driver make sure to select Turnip plus Zing. Afterwards DX wrapper you can select the Wine D3D 8.0 or you can also go with DXVK 2.2 but more on that later on in my gameplay videos which I'll upload pretty soon. So be sure to hit that subscribe button will also enable the show FPS option. Now in processor affinity let's make that 7 cores. Here you'll see Wine registry keys. In the GPU name section you can also modify it all the way up to GTX 1070. For example if you try running some games you will get incompatibility issues to fix that you can name your GPU as GTX 1070 uh, but these are experimental features and if we scroll down you can also set video memory size which is really great so all of this is customizable and in your control whereas in box 64 droid you couldn't really control any of these I'll keep the video memory size default for today's video we might change that in future Afterwards in DX components you will see direct 3D is built in wine direct sound is also wine and all of these are default Let's go to environment variables, keep it as default. Uh, in drives, you can create a specific folder on your Android device and add it right here. That's another great feature of this simulator, so it's pretty useful. Let's click on the tick mark option and it will start creating container. This is the main setup procedure. Once this has been done, just go ahead and tap on these three lines. Here you also get input controls or on-screen touch controls which is another amazing feature of the win later. We can set the profile as RTS or template. If we choose template, uh, editing the profile name, creating the profile. It also supports external controllers. That's pretty cool. You can just go ahead and tap on controls editor and uh, set all your controls by clicking on them. Then click on settings. Afterwards tap here. You can choose up, right, down, enter, escape, tap, delete or much more. So all of this you will have to do it by yourself and set the input controls according to your liking. And here in profile we will select RTS. Now go to controls editor and you will see uh, they have also provided a default uh, configuration or controls which is quite useful. Control, Alt, Space, Enter, all of these necessary buttons are already mapped. You don't have to do it if you choose the RTS profile but if you want a bit more customizations and uh, your own personal touch controls then profile should be template. Once that has been done let's head to the containers tab. Just go ahead and tap on these three dots. Afterwards tap on run and it will say starting up. Again wait for about however much time it takes to start the uh, wine based system on your android device. Once that's done you will see similar interface. Now it's not full screen so we'll just go ahead and press back and you will get more options such as toggle full screen. There we go. Now win letter is completely full screen. We can also scroll like this with the help of touchpad. By the way as you can see right here emulators do also work on win letter. Now we can just go ahead and swipe back again. Click on input controls and here you will get the option to choose your profile. We will select RTS. Afterwards you can also configure it by tapping on the settings button. We will keep it at default. You can also decrease or increase the cursor speed. I suggest you guys to decrease the cursor speed. Afterwards just go back. Let's enable and tap on OK. You will see we have now gotten the on-screen touch controls. Now again if you want to go back and enable your own keyboard then just go ahead and tap on the keyboard option and you'll get your android device keyboard. For example Gboard is what I'm using. That makes the app very easy to use and this was my review of Winlater. In the next video we'll be playing some games and also testing some emulators in future. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of that out. See you guys next time. Peace out.